All right, YouTube, it's your favorite chef, Chef G, back in the kitchen, y'all. Today we are making barita tacos and consomme, okay? I've been wanting to make this recipe for quite a while now, so today is the day for Taco Tuesday. Let's get into what ingredients we're going to need and get it started. It's going to take a few hours, so we'll be back and forth. All right, so what you're going to need is about three pounds of beef with bones and I'm just making a small portion I have some beef ribs and some pieces of beef, beef um, that I have sitting in some water cleaner you know, right now um, you can use fresh garlic I'm gonna use minced garlic because I have it here at home um, I will put the recipe down in the description below so um, be on the lookout for that um, you're gonna need a half an onion and you keep that whole and some carrot, bay leaves, some oregano leaves, some salt, and I'm going to use some beef stock as well as water um, to flavor, um, to use as my cooking stock. Okay, um, you're also going to need some uh, chicken bouillon. And for your peppers, you're going to need a, um, what is it called? I'm sorry, uh, Wahio pepper. Um, but I'm going to substitute some ancho peppers that I had in adobo sauce. I mean, chipotle is in adobo, so um, should do the same thing. Um, just not as, um, you pick kind of what the pepper spiciness that you want. You could use a different pepper, but I'm just going to use this one because this is what I have at home. And I didn't want to go to the store to get any more ingredients. So most of the stuff I already had here, okay? Um, so that's what you're going to need to make your initial, to cook your um, beef in. I'm going to cook mine in my Instapot. Um, so it shouldn't take as long as if you do it on top of the stove, okay? So we're going to go ahead and start and get our ingredients in our pot. And in this Ziploc bag, I have three peppers in here that I'm going to use, okay? So let me bring you down to my Instapot insert and we're going to get our stuff in our Instapot. Alright, so the first thing we're going to put in here is our beef. So I have my beef ribs. You want to make sure you use a bone in your cooking of your meat. This helps give a nice flavorful liquid those the marrow that's in the bones helps flavor that liquid that you're going to use as your consomme okay so i have a couple little pieces of beef throwing in there okay don't worry about the connective tissues they will they will break down um, during the cooking process especially with this instapot that i have okay so the next thing i'm going to add in are is my half an onion. I'm just going to throw the whole thing in there. I'm going to go with one, two bay leaves. I'm going to go with uh, about. A teaspoon of oregano. We're gonna go with about two tablespoons of that bouillon. I'm sorry, two teaspoons of the bouillon. And for our garlic, we're gonna go with a nice heaping teaspoon. So about a teaspoon and a half of minced garlic. Right in. Okay. We're going to go ahead and throw our peppers in there. And like I said, I had three of those. Make sure you get all the sauce. 
That's what's going to help flavor that. So what I'm going to do is add a little water to this um, to rinse it out and um, put the rest of that sauce in there. All right, so you make sure you get all that sauce out of that bag. All right, I'm going to add, I think I'll have it like two cups of beef broth. I'm going to add one cup now. And I'll add more later. And I'm going to fill it the rest of the way with water. So I'm going to do about um, a 10 cups of water or 10 cups of liquid in my Instapot. Because as you know, as this cooks, it is going to reduce and that's why I save that beef broth and we'll probably add a little bit more water a little later as well but I want to do at least 10 cups of liquid to begin with So I have that in there. We're going to the Instapot and we'll be back when our Instapot is done. I'm going to put it on my chicken setting um, on my Instapot um, and allow it to cook for about 30 minutes and we'll check it from there. We'll be right back. <laughs> 